Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by Simply Learn. In today's video on React versus Next.js, we will talk about the differences between React.js and Next.js. As many people think that React and Next.js works the same, we will compare React and Next.js and how exactly they work. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will get all the updates from Simply Learn. Before we jump to the video, do you know, according to Glassdoor, the average salary of a full stack developer in US is 70,000 US dollar per annum and it can go up to 125 dollar per annum. In fact, by 2024, there will be 27% increase in the jobs for developers according to the US Bureau of Labor and Statistics. So now is the best time to start picking up your knowledge needed to get started in this career. If you want to become a software developer, Consider the course on Full Stack Developer, Mean Stack by Simply Learn, and master those necessary skills. Check out the link in the description box for more details. So now, I would like to ask you guys one question. So, is React a framework or a library? Pause this video and comment in the comment section below with the correct answer. So first, we'll start with what React.js and Next.js is. After that, we'll see the differences between React and Next.js. We will cover the differences between in terms of performance, development cost, community and many more. Moving ahead, we'll talk about the features of React and Next.js and then we will see where Next and React.js are used. So without further ado, let's begin. So what is React.js? React is a JavaScript library that builds fast, interactive mobile and web applications. It's an open source, reusable component based front end library of JavaScript. React is a combination of HTML and JavaScript. It provides a reverse and opinionated way to build modern application interface. So the component that user view and interact with on screen are referred to as a user interface. React is a library that offers helpful UI building compatibilities. Still, it is up to the developers to use those functions in their application. On the other hand, it takes work to create a whole React application from scratch. For typical application requirements, developers spend time to configuring tools and developing new solutions. After much anticipation, developer created a framework of React, the Next.js. Let's see what Next.js is. So Next.js is an open source web framework created by Vercel. Next.js enables React based web applications with server side rendering and generating static websites. In addition, Next.js offers additional structures, features and optimization for your application. Next.js take care of the tooling and setting required for React.js. Now let's see the differences between React.js and Next.js. If you use Next.js and React for your development project, you will find many perks and drawbacks of using those React and JavaScript projects. However, these critical front-end development tools offers a seamless and engaging web development experience. However, they have different learning curves, although they both are easy to learn. Now, let's see the performance on React and Next.js. Now, performance is where Next.js and React.js diverge most. The server-side rendering and static generation of Next.js applications makes them incredibly quick. They work because of numerous performance enhancing features such as image optimization. Because of this, using Next.js for your project will improve the efficiency of the development by engaging automatic server rendering and code splitting. Additionally, SSR is crucial for improved app performance. However, a few things rule out in this decision of React. Although it allows client-side rendering, this is insufficient for creating high-performance application. Now, we'll see the difference between the documentation of React and Next.js. Moving ahead, excellent documentation may make it simple for you to utilize the tools for any software project. Identify the best library to employ and more. Both React and Next.js have excellent documentation options. The learn by doing documentation in Next.js guide you through component constructions and routing. A similar setup exists for React also. 
with multiple tutorials outlining the fundamentals. Now, let's move on to the server side rendering. Server side rendering SSR, a unique functionality provided by Next.js. It gathers data and fulfills each request when you have to offer a distinct presentation to various customers. Server side rendering is not supported by default in React, although it can be enabled. With the server and configuration of your choice, SSR can be integrated, but it requires more effort. Also, it's possible that developers won't support this in future versions. Now, let's move on to the developer community. We'll talk about the community that developer has in React and Next.js. So, you should be aware that any framework or library you choose will have a developer community that may offer you proper answers of any issues you run into in the cutthroat businesses. React has a fantastic developer community that is active in sharing solutions via blogs, tutorials, videos and other platforms. We do have so many resources on React. You can check out our React full course on the Simply Learn page. Moving ahead, you will find so many uh, React docs and live users on Stack Overflow also. On the other hand, Next.js has traditional exercises compared to other options, but it has more GitHub interactions. Developer in the open source community are accessible and engaged in Next.js. Community wise, I would say excellent developer experience is offered by both Next.js and React.js. Now let's move on to the configuration. Another difference between React and Next.js you should consider is configuration. React could offer better support for configuration unless you disconnect from the standard create React app, you won't be able to change the setups. Hence, you will need to use what's already set up and configured in CRAs, read scripts. On the other hand, everything is configured with Next.js. The Next.js templates allow you to configure files such as Beeble and test.config. Now let's move on to the maintenance. Both Next.js and React.js have somewhat opinionated CRAs in this circumstance. They are well maintained and release updates frequently. All you have to do is now is to keep up with the new updates. So it's an amazing features on both React and Next.js. Let's see the development cost of React and Next.js. Next.js and React do not make into the top paying innovation list. Furthermore, they both are open source. As a result, building an application based on these technologies will be relatively inexpensive. Now, let's see the features of React and Next.js. As we know, Next.js uses React to develop single page application. Here are the features you can leverage to create ready to go application by using Next.js. So some of them are server side rendering, static export, pre-rendering, automatic build size optimization. While talking about React, it offers routing and state management patterns with libraries like Redux. React can be used to customize any project. Now, let's see where React.js is used. React is used in social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and economy platforms like Airbnb, Lyft, User, I repeat, Uber. Media platforms like Yahoo, online video streaming platforms like Netflix, SaaS tools like SendGrid and Zapper in Vision app. Now, we'll see where Next.js is used. Next.js is used to develop e-commerce website, marketing websites and landing page because it's a static site generator. In summary, while React is a library for building user interface, Next.js is a framework built on top of React that adds several features to make it easier to build production ready application such as server side rendering, static site generation and built in routing. So let's wrap up this video on React versus Next.js. We hope you had a lot to learn and if you have any suggestions or doubt, please write them down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and happy learning. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.